Right now, your stomach is producing a powerful healing compound that's circulating through your bloodstream and it's repairing tissues throughout your entire body. All the more surprised then that most people have no idea this system even exists or that its age-related decline can be reversed. I'm talking about BPC-157 and what I'm about to reveal will completely change how you think about healing and aging. And if you stay with me till the end of this presentation, then I guarantee I will literally make your jaw drop. Now granted, this powerful peptide has been discussed previously on other longevity channels. However, not a single one of those presentations has disclosed the full and necessary facts, which reveals a glaring lack of specialized knowledge and understanding of this compound and its effects. Now, I've personally been researching and experimenting with BPC-157 since 2008. And today, I'm going to share knowledge with you that surpasses anything you may have previously encountered. And I'll reveal why current BPC longevity protocols are a direct result of my research. So if you're serious about understanding your body's hidden repair mechanisms and how to keep them firing in all cylinders, then hit subscribe and let's take a deep dive into what this miracle peptide can do to significantly improve the aging bodies of mature adults like you and I. In 1993, Croatian researchers made a remarkable discovery. Hidden in human gastric juice was a protein called BPC, short for body protection compound. But here's what's fascinating. This compound wasn't just protecting your stomach. They found that a 15 amino acid fragment of this protein named BPC-157 was entering the bloodstream and providing systemic protection to the entire body. The stomach was acting like an endocrine organ, continuously secreting this healing peptide. Think about this. Every day, your stomach produces 1.2 to 1.5 liters of gastric juice. That's not just acid for digestion. It's a delivery system for one of your body's most powerful repair compounds. But here's where it gets really interesting. The amount you produce isn't fixed. And that's because our BPC-157 production is directly tied to our eating patterns. Basal production of gastric juices runs at about one milliliter per minute continuously, but meals can increase gastric secretion two to three times above baseline. This means that people who eat frequent small meals are potentially producing significantly more BPC-157 than, for example, those who fast for long periods. It's like having a built-in healing advantage. But here's the problem. The unfortunate fact is that BPC production declines with age, just like growth hormone, testosterone, and other repair mechanisms. Which means that your 60-year-old stomach isn't producing the same protective compounds as your 20-year-old stomach. However, this is where supplementation becomes incredibly interesting because we actually now have a way to measure exactly what we're replacing. Until very recently, most people have thought about BPC-157 in terms of injury protocols, and in that role, it has been supremely effective. For those not familiar with this peptide, it comes as a lyophilized powder which then needs reconstituting with bacteriostatic water before use. It's then injected subcutaneously using an insulin syringe. Typically, 250 to 500 micrograms per day over four to six weeks is used for acute healing. However, there's now a growing movement within the longevity community towards long-term microdosing. Just 25 to 50 micrograms per day is now being used by many longevity biohackers on an indefinite basis. And this actually makes perfect physiological sense. And that's because based on gastric juice production and protein concentrations, your body likely produces somewhere around 50 to 100 micrograms of BPC-157 daily. This means that daily doses of 25 to 50 micrograms are not pharmacological. They're actually physiological replacement therapy. Part of the beauty of microdosing BPC is simplicity. No cycling, no breaks, just consistent support for your body's natural repair systems. And here's the amazing thing. Although BPC-157 has a half-life of less than 30 minutes, it actually triggers healing cascades that last for days. So you're essentially priming your repair mechanisms continuously. And that's what most people don't understand about BPC-157. It's not just a healing peptide for treating injuries. It's a systemic coordinator of repair processes. For example, it promotes angiogenesis, literally growing new blood vessels where they're needed. It modulates over 4,000 genes involved in tissue repair. And get this, 
It even crosses the blood-brain barrier, affecting neurological function. We also have studies showing effects on tendon healing, muscle repair, gut integrity, cardiovascular protection, and even hair follicle regeneration. This isn't just about fixing injuries. It's about optimizing your body's entire maintenance system. And the onset is remarkably fast. Pain relief within hours and tissue repair acceleration within days. All the more remarkable when we consider that the peptide itself, as I already mentioned, has a half-life of only 30 minutes. Of course, BPC-157 isn't a cure-all. It is, however, the perfect addition to any comprehensive longevity protocol, one that's also optimizing sleep, exercise, nutrition, and supplements. And while on the subject of supplements, here's an exclusive 10% discount code for my preferred longevity brand, Do Not Age. And that code will work for all products, including subscriptions and special offers. So there's some huge savings to be made there. If you're considering BPC-157, then you should know that quality matters enormously. Look for 98% plus purity and insist on up-to-date certificates of analysis. BPC-157 is typically sold in small vials of lyophilized powder, which must be reconstituted using bacteriostatic water before injection. Additionally, reconstituted peptides must be refrigerated and used within three weeks, otherwise potency may suffer degradation. I should also mention that oral BPC-157 products are available. However, if you're looking to achieve maximum therapeutic benefits, then injectable BPC is far superior. Oral versions require much higher dosages, so will cost significantly more. Plus, systemic benefits may be limited. For those reasons, I cannot recommend oral BPC. If microdosing, then 25 to 50 micrograms injected subcutaneously once daily is becoming the standard approach. Whereas for acute healing, 250 to 500 micrograms daily for four to six week cycles is both popular and extremely effective. Most people, myself included, prefer abdominal fat for the injection site. However, thighs are also a popular choice and can of course be rotated with the abdomen. The subcutaneous route provides excellent bioavailability and unlike with intramuscular injections, a tiny, practically painless insulin syringe gets the job done nicely. But here's what's truly remarkable. You're not just taking a supplement. You're supporting a repair system that Evolution designed to keep you healthy, that your stomach has been producing your entire life. BPC-157 has demonstrated an excellent safety profile in both human and animal studies. In human clinical trials for ulcerative colitis, no toxicity was reported, and a 2025 safety study showed intravenous doses up to 20 milligrams were well tolerated with no adverse effects. Animal studies couldn't establish a lethal dose, the researchers literally unable to find a dose high enough to cause any serious harm. BPC-157 is a compound your body naturally produces that you can intelligently supplement long-term to optimize healing and longevity. Whether you're dealing with injuries, looking to optimize recovery, or simply want to support your body's natural repair mechanisms as you age, BPC-157 offers a scientifically rational approach. The research is solid, the mechanisms are understood, and the safety profile is excellent. In reality, this isn't experimental. It's simply optimization of existing biology. Your body's been trying to heal itself your entire life. Sometimes it just needs the right support. Many thanks for watching. And as always, take care, be healthy, and I'll see you again soon.